Find a percent of an amount. You've done fraction, decimal and percent equivalents. You understand that these are all linked. A percentage can be shown as a fraction and a decimal. You can switch between them all and I'm sure you've done a load of practice doing just that. We're going to use that understanding when we find a percent of an amount. We have to find 40% of 25. Let's go. You know that 40% means 40 parts out of 100. There's our fraction. As a decimal, that's 0 0.40. And even better, just 0 0.4. We can replace the word of with times. We are going to solve 0 0.4 times 25. Nice. These are the figures we multiply and we put the decimal point in at the end. I could set up a multiplication problem, but we all know that 4 times 25 is 100, so we're nearly there already. Now we just have to put in the decimal point. There's one decimal figure in the problem, so we need one decimal figure in the answer. We just worked out that 40% of 25 is 10. Let's do another one. 3% of 88. 3% means 3 parts per 100, 3 hundredths. As a decimal, that is 0 0.03. 0 ones, 0 tenths, 3 hundredths. We're doing 0 0.03 times 88. These are the figures to multiply. Set it up. 88 times 3. 3 eighths of 24 and 3 eighths of 24 again, plus 2 is 26. Now for the decimal point. Two decimal figures in the problem, two decimal figures in the answer. So 3% of 88 is 2.64. Think about that for a moment. Does this answer make sense? 3% of 100 is 3. 88 is a bit less than 100, and our answer is a bit less than 3. So yes, it does make sense. The first problems you'll get will be like this, where you have to find a percent of an amount. So remember, first, write down the percentage from the question as a fraction with a denominator of 100. Next, make the decimal equivalent. Then do the multiplication step. Here, start with zero because this is two tens, then 2 times 12 is 24. Finally, put the decimal point back in the right place. Two decimal figures in the problem, two decimal figures in the answer. You got this. Next time, I'll show you how you can use your fractions knowledge to solve some percent problems very quickly indeed, without a big multiplication step. See you soon on Let's Do Math.